What's up guys, I'm Caden with Crypto Now or Never. Today I'm going to be giving you guys an update on HBAR. Please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Help me pump that algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it up in some work and believe. Know what I want. All right, so just to start things off, I'm actually impressed with HBAR. In the last seven days, they are up 6.5%. And I know a lot of you guys are going to say 6.5% is not a lot, but the rest of the crypto market is getting hammered right now. If you guys look at Bitcoin, it has been in a complete downtrend, and yesterday especially it got destroyed. So HBAR has actually been holding very well. It's trading at just under $0.08, cents, and their market cap's $2.8 billion, which ranks 30th among all cryptocurrencies. But I will also say for HBAR, if you look at the monthly time frame, it is definitely still in a downtrend. So in general, if you guys are looking to accumulate the HBAR dip, I recommend using Binance or Coinbase. I think those are the two easiest centralized exchanges to use. But we'll go ahead and hop straight into the HBAR news. So this is their X account. And they just posted seven hours ago, upcoming session at 0, 0.0 Forum. And this is going to be happening on July 2nd, so about a week from now. Permissionless blockchain and financial services. And these are some big names. Ripple, JP Morgan, Chainlink, Deutsche Bank, Aptos. So it is very good to see HBAR attending events like this. This just helps them get their name and technology out there. And then on June 21st, the president of Hedera was discussing the transformative potential of real-world tokenization in TradFi, bringing new paradigms for asset ownership, trading, and management. And there are a lot of people out there who think real-world tokenization is going to be huge, and Hedera plans to be right at the forefront of that. And then they reposted on June 21st, we're thrilled to announce Wallet Connect is now integrated on SaucerSwap. And this is huge in general, and I've talked about it before. You have to understand, all of these uber-successful Layer 1s have successful DEXs, and they have massive ecosystems to go along with that. So the bigger and bigger saucer swap grows, the better for HBAR. But there hasn't really been any game-changing information since my last HBAR video. So now we'll take a look at some macro news that could possibly have an impact on the crypto market. And they just posted 19 hours ago, President Donald Trump in talks to speak at Bitcoin convention in July. There are a lot of people out there who think Donald Trump is going to win the election. And if he does, that could be very good for crypto. And my hope is that him being pro-crypto also makes a lot of other candidates pro-crypto. And then on June 24th, Mt. Gox says they'll start Bitcoin and Bitcoin cash repayments in July. Now, a lot of people out there think this is the reason that Bitcoin had a massive sell-off. Because a lot of these people who were buying through Mt. Gox were buying Bitcoin at like $800, $1,000. So they're going to be up around 60x. So a lot of people think they're going to sell off. But that's a very interesting perspective. But the other perspective is since they were buying Bitcoin that early, they're probably pretty big Bitcoin believers. There's also definitely a chance that they know what they're doing, relatively speaking, in crypto. And they understand that we are probably not at a top yet in the crypto market. So they might just get their Bitcoin back and then try and time the top as everyone else is going to do. And then lastly, I want you to remember that the Ethereum ETF is projected to launch by July 2nd. So this could also have an impact on the crypto market. But this is also very interesting because a lot of people think it's going to drop the market. But I'm telling you, rarely does the market do what everyone thinks it's going to do. So don't be surprised if everything is already baked in and it actually pumps. But while we're on X, you guys should come over and give your boy a follow at Crypto Now or Never. I post on here all the time. And then I would also like to take a moment to talk about my private Discord through Patreon. So at the current moment, I have three different tiers, and there are many benefits to joining my Discord. For example, you guys are going to get closer access to me, and you guys are going to be able to track the cryptos that I'm personally buying, selling, considering buying, and even the cryptos that I currently hold. And we've been making some huge gains. For example, I posted Trump on base at a $73,000 market cap, and it ran up to over a $17 million market cap. That is over a 200x. Just to put that in perspective, if you invested $1,000, your $1,000 would be worth over $200,000. Those are life-changing gains. So if that's the kind of stuff that sounds interesting to you, I have the link right here on my YouTube homepage. We're building a very strong community. I would love to have you guys in here. But now for the final part of this video, I'll get into some technical analysis. So this is HBAR on the four hour time frame, and I'm going to be honest, it actually looks a lot better than Bitcoin and most cryptos right now. I said that at the beginning, and I mean that. We have actually gotten back above the 21 day moving average, which is fantastic to see. Now, my main issue is that the stochastics are already extremely overbought and the RSI is getting pretty overbought. And the 21 day moving average is not the only moving average. I first really need to see it get back above this golden line right here, which is the 200 day. If HBAR can get back above the 200 day, then I would definitely say that we're in for a reversal. But if we cannot, then I would look for more downside, plain and simple. And I'm going to be completely honest. I still think Bitcoin is what absolutely matters right now. 
because if Bitcoin continues to drop, then HBAR is going to fall with it. And if you look at Bitcoin right now, it has not gotten back above the 21 day. It is still trading significantly beneath all of the moving averages. Plus, the stochastics are getting pretty overbought and the RSI is getting up there a little bit too. Now, the one thing that I do want to point out on Bitcoin is actually on the daily time frame. So we did not quite come down and touch the 200 day moving average yet. That's what I was saying in my previous videos. I wouldn't be surprised if we do get a bounce off of this level. So don't be surprised if we do end up still coming back down and retesting this. But then in general, if you just zoom out and you actually look at the chart, the RSI was as low as it had been since August 18th of 2023. That is extremely low and they hardly dropped Bitcoin at all. It only went down to about 58,400. So as bad as the market seems right now, just understand that the effort does not match price action. We are still holding very strong right now. But at the end of the day, always remember this is crypto. Anything can happen. Make sure you are prepared for all scenarios. But that's about all. Let me know down in the comments how high do you guys think HBAR will go this bull run. If you found this content valuable, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.